Hello everybody and welcome. As you can see, we're back in Point Town, Bushville, you know, whatever you want to call it. Point Town is obviously a little district within Bushville. The city itself is doing it's doing great. It really is doing great. We're actually losing nine people, so to say it's doing great is obviously a bit of a lie. Uh, but we have got 4,100 people living in and we are currently earning just short, just shy of 4,000 whatever currency that is. Um, we have 100,000 of them. Um, we have a bit of a level demand at the moment, but as you remember from last episode, what we're going to be looking at this episode is seeing if we can afford the football stadium, uh, work on the parking and the traffic systems for that. Hopefully that should bring in a good amount of money, but a few problems as well, but that should be good for us to manage. One of the things I wanted to look at was this big yellow area here. So our current imports is fully logging based, as you can see over here. Now one of our problems is here we now have fertile land and if we have a look at our import and export we're, in, we're still importing a large amount of forestry but we're also in, importing a small amount of agricultural product so if we can alleviate that small amount of agricultural product that should give us a little bit of money let's quickly hit pause and see what the problem is over here garbage is piled up okay what's the problem here ah uh, okay so we're gonna quickly pause here as you can see our garbage dis uh, or um, bins have been filled up we're gonna have to delete delete those bits there and dump in another one there so they should now hopefully hopefully they should send some trucks out there and go and pick everyone up the facility is full i am aware yeah so as we can see here this slightly more yellow land is fertile and we can get people in to start using it so what we're going to do is we're going to first of all um grab the four lane is that is that the one I believe it is no it's not bugger we want this one it's not going to be too expensive for us to upgrade anyway and as we saw out this way there is a nice amount of farmland okay we're going to give them a two-laned road for this and we're going to come out at a bit of an angle like that and we're going to head out into there then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring out a nice simple little road going here hopefully this will give us enough different spots to add the farmland in Oh yeah, we need to go there and there. Awesome. And as we saw, if we commercialise it there very quickly, first of all though, if we draw out the region. Whoop. Whoops. Um, there we are. Go back a little bit. Good old slip of the mouse. And we can go this way. Back around and fill in the gap. So looking pretty 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 smooth that square um dean heights yeah <laughs> yep okay let's call it dean's tights uh policies wise i don't think we can even change many many policies anymore no we don't and there's none that's really needed for us we're going to drop in some of this stuff and oh shit the whole reason we did this was so we could do that give them farming special spe specialization special spe spe specialization um, and hopefully I mean hopefully that there should be enough farming they should also bring in a large amount of jobs and what that will mean is we won't have so many flammable areas over here we won't need to keep expanding this area uh, for old crappington but um, the traffic won't won't build up too much but as I say, what this will let us do is hopefully if they do take a lot of water. But it should also mean that we're going to have a bit of a less less of a demand. Um, energy production is 85. We're only using 65, but then that would be because it's night time. Let's have a quick look at the buses. Now we did add a new bus route in the crazy bus route, uh, which took people off to old Crappington. Um, let's have a look here. 85 people? Not bad, not bad. We're going to create a new line. 
and that's only going to go to there and it's going to come back round to there and back again possibly is that a good idea now we're waiting for people to come and work for them which should hopefully speed up at a relatively quick rate what are we got people complaining over here yeah okay we definitely have a bit of wind drop at the moment and hopefully that gives a little bit more energy production there and maybe another one just about hit it okay that is the one problem so we are using obviously using a more environmental method and whoa busy town i'll finish what i'm saying in a moment so we get city planning policies which is really awesome level 40 unique buildings tourism and or leisure and tourism unique buildings oil industry which we've just built into another industry now tourism specific uh, spe spe uh, specialization free public transport heavy traffic ban um encourage biking uh ban bikes on sidewalks uh nimby no loud noise in the night and all towns. Only residential and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles. Only residents and businesses can use the area. Uh, ban other motor traffic. That makes a good amount of sense. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of new bits of road. We do get the police headquarters, fire station, hospital, power plant, uh, bus station. Um, we get the jet, <laughs> jet ski rental. We don't have any snow. Uh, fishing pier. Uh, fishing tours, Marina, or Mariana, or rather, a uh, riding stable escape park, beach volleyball court, restaurant pier, intelligence agency, uh, medical laboratory. Okay. So let's very quickly see if um, we do end up getting enough workers in. I think we need, a, I think they want a couple of new people living there. So let's grab out a new living area. So why not let them live? you know, close to where they're working. That's, that's, that's how I'm, I see it. Um, what we can do here is we can go ahead and zone these guys to normal living. Right, we can give these guys a couple of their own bits of housing. And hopefully what they should then do is move in there. That should give the demand we need for people living at the farmland. These people are not as well educated. These people are, you know, going to fit nicely into the farmland and it's going to be perfect. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, they obviously do need water. That is that is a good, good thing to suggest. Give them water. Power, power, power. We're, we're currently producing 100,000. Uh, 100 kilowatts, rather. Hopefully all these people start to go and move in to the places that are needed over there. Not enough workers. Maybe you've got three workers. Um, I don't know what to say. These people have moved in and they're obviously now going to be moving out towards the places you need them. Now, as you, as you can see as well, because we zoned this area to be farmland, we're going to have these people working farmland, and on the outside, we're going to have a small amount of goods, which are also pretty awesome. Because what's that going to obviously let, what that will let us do is have a little bit less of a demand for goods as well. You know, killing two birds with one stone there. It's not the cleanest of places, um, but it doesn't look too bad. We've still got a demand for people wanting uh, work. So we're going to add a little bit of a, a road in there and so a small amount more commercial there. Now if people still need workers, we'll just we'll just branch out and have another little area. Oh, there's a big fire over here. Nice, the fire brigade got it. Let's have a quick look at them. So healthcare wise, um, buried, you know, it's not too bad. De deceased, that's not really what we wanted. We want to look at the healthcare capability. Um, that's just a bigger version of one of those. Fire safety. We probably want to grab ourselves a fire station at some point. Um, because they're much bigger. 
um, will hopefully give us a bit more of a, you know, a bit more protection. Um, but we're really close to the football stadium. Um, okay. Let's knock those guys out. Why don't... Why? There's no demand for people. Right? There's... there's okay, then now there is. Okay. Well, let's pause this here. What's going on here? Okay, so we need a little bit more of a demand. Or we have a little bit more demand for... A couple bits more power. Fire. I think... See, at the moment, the crime rate's really low, right? We don't have that many people detained. We don't need a police headquarters. I also don't think we need a... Now, I didn't see where the other one was. We'll have a look in a second. But I think fire station is arguable. Uh, arguable. Uh, arg arguable. No, I don't know. I can't think of words today. Hospital could argue... Could be needed. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not going to even try and say the word. I don't know why I can't say it. Bus station. Um, uh, yeah, bus station is something else that we could end up using. Where was this central intelligence agency that we just saw? Nanotechnology center, research center, robotics institute, um, semiconductor plant, software development studio, and television studio. Can we get a software development studio? Like where, where would these go? And what, 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 what's the reason for doing them? Um, over here we can get an opera house. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. But very, very soon, as in in 10,000, we can get ourselves the football stadium. And I think that might actually be a good idea. Should get us a good amount of money back, hopefully. If... If we can manage our power. Hopefully, yeah. See, so yeah, as you can see there, hopefully their power amounts have gone. We're losing a small amount of people as we do have a small, small demand. These people are... Citizens are sick. Okay. Now, are they going to... As you can see there. Maybe having a small amount of... No, there we are. They're just about getting there in time. Uh, a couple of people are wanting to move out here, which is, that's fine again. And we should just about to have enough money. Now we do. So let's dump that down before we, before we lose out. Um, where should we put it? I'm going to quickly give ourselves a little um, three lanes. No, let's give ourselves a... I want it to be one way I guess it's going to have to be this um, maybe like that's way too big for me uh, what I want is a one way ok that looks ok like that like that ok so that's going to be our one way route into the football stadium itself and then the football stadium shall go there. So there is our football stadium. Um, I don't know what we have to do there. So Bushville's next match is versus Rockford. Upkeep, upkeep is 4,000 a week. Team name is Bushville. Uh, color wise, give ourselves a nice orange. Not enough electricity. Okay. Let's quickly pause and have a look at this, because I've never used this. Okay, whatever this is, I could really do with that fucking off. Or is that going to now bug me out? Okay, great. Not enough electricity visitors. It's 700 per 750 people can visit our stadium. Ticket prices we can set. Uh, to make it easier for fans to get to the stadium, public transport is free on the match. Match security and subsidise youth expenses. Okay, how much damage has that given us in regards to water? Water availability has just shot through the roof. Power has also <laughs> shot through the roof. Now, 
Advanced wind turbines generate 0 to 20. These do 0 to 8. Okay, let's start doing... I'm going to start replacing all of these with... a couple of more advanced wind turbines. They, they, okay. they require water, right? But yeah, apparently they want me to produce more, more power, right? So this is an advanced wind and solar turbine that needs to be sat in water. How do they... Produces loads amount of water there. Loads amount of power. I guess I need to have a... Supply down there? Maybe? Let's go ahead and get ourselves a quick loan here. Um, let's get ourselves the larger one. Just so we can sort out our power issue once and for all. One there. One there. One there. I think... I don't know whether our power... Uh, is going to be that much of a problem. It's, it's really weird how a wind turbine just can't go anywhere it needs to be. What do we got here? Two fewer services. What do they need? What do they need? It doesn't really help me. Water-wise. Water. Water, water, water. We're having a little bit of a problem. Um, we can drop in another water pumping station there. And another sewage station one there. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. Power-wise, this. We'll just make sure we pick up a bit of power around there. And that should, should, hopefully, hit the right amount we need. We're in the day, so yeah, there we are. So how long we got to our football stadium? Uh, the 10th of the 10th. We're currently on the 9th of the... 10th of the 1st? Okay, we've actually got a lot, we've got a long time to love football. Say um, it's going to be used. Hope oh, what's it like in the seventh? Right, so apparently seven hundred and fifty people can visit that. <laughs> There's quite a few seats in there. All right, what do we need? We need a bit of a bit of a. We have a small amount of people that want to live here. Okay, so. We're going to have to extend out this area. Which is going to hopefully give us... Enough people to work in the farm area. I'm not sure what we need to do for these services. I'm not sure what kind of services they want. But as you can see, this area is really starting to build up. But it doesn't look like we have that much of a problem in regards to the traffic. Oh, see, there's people moving in, and why are you starting to move out? You need workers. <laughs> well, actually, tell me. I mean, actually, tell me you need workers, because at the moment, I'm looking, and I'm going, well, how... how what, 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 what do you want me to do? I, 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 I'm trying to supply workers, and you're not taking them. Okay, let's have a look at crime. I think crime's going to start being a bit of a problem. There are certain criminal areas. Uh, Fire-wise, there's also a large amount of places that <laughs> can can burn. Uh, health again, health capacity is yeah perfectly fine. Health capacity is actually a lot larger than any of the others. Fire department is yeah as we saw. Police yeah same as well, same as well. Uh, high school availability, we're hitting the kind of capacity. Uh, ca transport. Nice, we're actually starting to hit the transport amount. And let's quickly delete that. And that. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave the episode over many, many problems here. But thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed as always. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. So, as I say, apologies this episode. It may be a bit confusing, but there's been a few problems. It's confused me. Um, so, we finally got the football stadium in. Realised it costs a stupid amount. 
of money. Um, but the better we do, the more money we're going to bring back for the city. Uh, Bushville FC, as we can see here, next match against Rockford on the 10th of the 1st, which is not too long uh, down the line. In fact, what we'll do is, seeming as it... Now, we're going to have that in the next episode, guys, but thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed those people going into the stadium. Um, it's on the 10th of the 1st. I guess they're just visiting? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been Point Birch, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you, and peace. Goodbye. Now, and... Uh, Tick that bell, uh, you know, tick the bell and underneath the videos if you want to know when I upload more often. Uh, you'll get an email notification every time I upload and go live. And yeah, see you soon. Peace.